You're listening to Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. Well, uh, on the telephone line is IIT Professor Kavi Arya. Now, this gentleman heads the Department of Robotics. There's something really space age that's happening in the IIT, and I thought on Independence Day it'll be a nice idea to get him on air. Happy Independence Day to you, Professor. How are you? Happy Independence Day. Nice to hear you, sir. You're doing something called the All India Robotics Competition. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that, please. Basically, this has come out of our teaching of a subject called embedded systems, which is uh, basically computers where you don't see them. They are usually embedded in devices like mobile phones and avionics systems, car computers, and stuff like that. So, in our teaching of this subject, especially through the distance education mode, we found it very difficult, mm-hmm. and we found that when we innovated little robots to help us teach, we found we could teach this thing much more effectively. So now we have uh, a project called E. Yantra, which is uh, funded by the government by MHRD, to spread this gyan that we've developed in our lab throughout engineering colleges all over the country. That's fabulous. What also interests me is the fact that uh, you're working on greenhouse and urban farming. Yes. Uh, would you tell us a little about a, a bit about that, please? Yes, yeah, sure. So what we are trying to do is that we found one excellent application of engineering skills and robots and things like that mm-hmm. is in the problem of solving this food problem, especially okay. in cities. Uh-huh. Right. It came to our our mind when our friends and uh, especially our staff were saying that uh, bhaji bahut mehanga ho gaya hai. Correct. Mm-hmm. Tomatoes asi rupya ke lo and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And if you look at what's happening, it's uh, almost one third of the cost is the cost of the fuel to mm-hmm. actually get the food from hundred kilometers away to your plate. Mm-hmm. And then you have a bit of that, and then you throw most of it, and that becomes another uh, problem, which is solid waste. Mm-hmm. So we thought, won't it be wonderful to kind of think of uh, urban farming where we can take this solid waste, convert it into food, and grow food near where it is actually consumed? Mm. And then we came up with the idea as to, okay, what are the problems that we can solve in this kind of thing? If we had lots of these little, say, uh, urban farms which mm. we have to manage, Correct. and then we thought that robots might have a part to play in it because not everybody has the time to sort of manage these things all day long. Mm. It would be nice to just have some automation which is uh, quietly watering <laughs> the plants and fertilizing the plants and weeding them and stuff like that. Yeah. And it's a wonderful robotic problem. Beautiful. More conversation with IIT Professor Kavi Arya up ahead on ninety four point three radio. You don't want to go anywhere. You're listening to Good Morning Mumbai with Rishi K. An IIT professor who believes in robotics and not just uh, robotics to make the mundane tasks of life easier, but he believes in urban farming and a robotics competition in IIT Bombay that also deals with urban farming. So, Professor Arya, how are you seeding this particular thought in the competition that you have, E Antra, which is basically, I imagine, an opportunity for engineering students across the country to showcase their skills in robotics? Exactly. So, what we are trying to do is that we are trying to turn this this nation of youngsters that we have at the moment half. the population is below the age of 25 yep. we want to inculcate them can do attitude they should as engineers their mm. their, their their goal should be to solve societal problems that's right and the problem of food i think is is a very exciting problem and it 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 can be a tremendous consumer of high technology mm. so we thought that why not in our competition seed this idea that you too can think of machines which can uh, uh, you know solve our food problems so we have every year we have different themes this year in our robotic in the eantra robotics uh, competition we've seeded the theme of urban farming mm-hmm. that means we've got abstractions if you like mm-hmm. of of an urban farm and the sorts of things that we do that we want to do in that uh, plantation mm-hmm. and we've seeded these as themes which using our robots eantra robots you will solve Uh, professor is there any place uh, one can go and register for uh, for the competition if one has built a robot is there a facebook page or there's an email id that you can give out please absolutely it is support at e-yantra.org just to read that please support s u p p o r t at e-yantra.org in fact you can go to the e-yantra website and yeah. register for this uh, competition fantastic one last leg of conversation with iit professor kavi arya he's he's doing yeoman service teaches embedded systems the at IIT Bombay a key proponent of which is uh, project based learning you're listening to good morning mumbai with rishi k radio 1
We salute uh, the freedom fighters uh, from the past who got us our independence. But on a day like this, we also look to those uh, to the future. A gentleman who's really planting seeds for the future, and I mean literally, IIT professor Kavi Arya. He uh, he teaches the embedded systems course at IIT Bombay. It's a robotics competition called E Yantra that we're talking about, and uh, the professor has got some fascinating insights. Uh, professor, abroad in the West, how does it work? I mean, I've heard that even strawberry cultivation abroad happens with robots. Absolutely, this is uh, you'll be referring to a Japanese robot which was showcased in the uh, newspapers recently That's where right. mm. it goes down a little greenhouse aisle and spots <laughs> strawberries and picks them. Mm. Now, I tell you one thing, that our students are capable of all that and much more if they just apply their minds to it, even at engineering colleges. Mm. I bet you that if these guys learn the basics of robotics and basics of image processing, apply their minds, they'll be able to build these machines. Fantastic. But mm. we don't encourage them to do that. Yeah. We expect yeah. them to uh, regurgitate textbooks. We don't mm. have labs in which they can get their hands dirty and build things. Mm. So we are trying to overcome that resistance, if you like, and to give them that kind of exposure. Mm. Now, urban farms are a phenomenon which are sweeping across the world at the moment because as energy costs are going up, food costs are going up, and people find that urban farming has got tremendous potential in mm. these days of expensive energy and expensive food. Mm. So we thought, why not start thinking about this here because more and more of our country is going to get urbanized over the next few years, yeah. right? So, uh, uh, so we need to think about these things. We need to solve these problems because diesel costs are going to hit us much more than anybody else in the world. Yeah, absolutely right. So why yeah. not start thinking about it right away? Each group of students are going to get how long? What is the duration, you know, to uh, to use an existing robotic platform? Yes, our uh, e-yantra competition is very distinct mm. in the sense that it, it gives you everything that you want. Mm. It gives you a robot, it trains you, and it leads you through the various steps of solving a problem. Mm. But first of all, you have to come and register and you have to pass a selection test. Ah! <laughs> Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> professor, fascinating talking to you about robotics and urban farming. So much to learn. That's ID Professor Kavi Arya. J just before you go, just one more time, where people can get in touch with you, uh, Professor? Yeah, they have to come to the e-yantra website. That's www.e-yantra.org. And everything is there on that website. Fantastic. Thank you so much for your time and your patience. And uh, have a lovely Independence Day. You too. Happy Independence Day. Bye. Too.